Hi, Brad Williams, Tsunami Compressed Air Solutions. I want to talk to you today about drying technology and water separators. So, we often get questions about our water separators and usually they're referred to as dryers. So, this is a water separator and it will not dry the air. So, it will remove the liquid water that is present at that point in time. So, if you're coming straight off your compressor, it's hot air, that air will be saturated with vapor. It's gonna be in the air. It's not gonna be much liquid until it cools. So when it comes through the water separator, the, the actual physical shifts in direction and speed will we'll cool that air and, and condense some of that liquid water out. But as it goes through here and goes on downstream, and the air cools, more liquid water will become present. So if that is a concern in your application, then you need a, a dryer. So there are different types of drying technology available. Um, our regenerative dryers use a chemical drying method. There are re refrigerated drying methods that simply cool the air and separate that water at that point. Um, there's still some vapor left in that air that can condense out. With our drying technologies, the, uh, the chemical reaction will remove that dry air, so even if it cools later, you will not have liquid water up here. So that's the biggest difference. You're taking out liquid water that's present with a water separator, and it can still reappear later. With a regenerative dryer, you are removing all the liquid water and vapor that is in that airstream and leaving you with dry, clean air.